So again, let out the clutch until you start rolling. I'm kind of on an incline, so you have to really let out the clutch right. If you let out too hard, the car will stall. And see, I'm, I'm going really slow, so you have to keep, you have to like wait. Okay, I'm able to let the clutch out now, start adding gas. And then my foot's completely off. Now I'm in first gear and I'm going. But see, the RPMs are working really hard and I'm only going like, what, 10 miles an hour? So now what you do to shift, all right, let your foot off the gas, press in the clutch and hold it, go down to second gear, let off the clutch completely, and then add some more gas. Now this is like the really super exaggerated, super slow way to do it, but I mean, it's that's basically what you're doing when, when you learn how to finally, it's basically what you're doing, just really, really slow. All right, so let's see, let off gas, clutch, third gear, let off clutch, gas, and we're rolling around in third gear. I'm sorry the picture's really bad because the light and everything. So you gotta avoid this car. Yeah, my neighborhood sucks. <laughs> Roads are horrible. Alright, so, yeah, I'm sorry about the, like, the way the footage looks and my area sucks for practicing, but, I mean, it's what I got. Anyways, let's see, I gotta, I need, or not I need, um, yeah, just, you know, practice the clutch, practice the gas, try to do it on a flat surface, do it slowly, eventually you'll be able to get faster and faster and more, it'll be more smooth and precise and flawless, and, uh, something I wanted to mention is a lot of times a lot of times you'll be rolling around and then somebody may slam their brakes in front of you or something so normally what I do is I'll, I'll clutch it and then I'll use my brake and then depending on if my car is still rolling I'll just I'll put it in whatever gear for that speed so say we're going like say somebody slams slams their uh, their brakes and we're going 50 miles an hour and so what I'll do is I'll clutch and I'll use my brake and say we slow all the way down to like 30 miles an hour or something or 25 and then by the time they go again and it's time for me to go instead of you know because you can't fully stop the car you're already rolling right and you're ready in traffic so what I'll do is since my foot's clutched in and, and I'll take it out of fifth because I was going 50 miles an hour right I'll take it out of fifth I'll put it in third and then I'll engage the gear you know by letting out the clutch and then adding gas so that's pretty much how you drive on the road I know when I was when I was first learning I was thinking how the hell do people do that you know like because because you know I learned when I was at a dead stop but then you gotta you gotta learn when you're driving too so that's pretty much how you do it so I'm, I'm in third gear I could have slowed down to 20 and actually put it in second gear, but I am one-handed right now, so I don't want to have to put down the camera. All right, coming up is what I want to show you. Remember, I am one-handed right now, so it could be a little difficult. Okay, so again, I'm one-handed. I'm in third gear. Clutch, brake. I already put on my turn signal. I need to switch my hands. All right, second gear. All right, check this out. We're kind of on a, on a decline, right? Kind of downhill. I'm in second gear. All right, I'm gonna let out the grab point and I'm gonna engage. And we're moving. First of all, the decline, it, it helped on engaging the gear because the car kind of rolled a little bit. But uh, the main point that I, was, that I wanted to make with that is that you can engage the car in second gear if it's six speed. I don't know about five speed or anything else, but six speed in my car, you can engage second gear. You just have to, you just have to, like I said, you have to give enough gas, steady amount, and it's harder in second gear because in second gear, the speed you're supposed to be going is like, it's supposed to be uh, like 20 miles an hour. 
All right, here's here's another good example. See, we're on we're on definitely on a hill type thing. See if I if I let I let go. See we're rolling rolling backwards. All right, so I'm in first gear. This is a little difficult, more difficult, but you have to find grab point faster and add a little more gas. In order to get going. Second gear. And then around this stupid... If I can do this one-handed, it might be difficult. Try to get into my driveway. I'm in second gear, I'm clutching it in. Add some gas. All right, we made it. Okay. Neutral. All right, so I wanna show you that second gear again. All right, cause first gear, this is basically what my thing looks when I engage first gear. Okay. Reverse back a little. Okay, now here's how second gear looks like. Let's see if let's see if I can do it without stalling. So I bet you can hear a difference on that one. So you just pretty much have to hold. You have to give it gas, and you have to hold it longer. Um, but uh, engaging on a on a downhill into second gear is definitely a lot easier. Keep in mind to remember that first gear, again, a six-speed first gear is pretty much only to get the car moving, only to get it rolling. As soon as you're engaged in first gear and the car's rolling a little bit, like five miles an hour, four miles an hour, you can already shift in the second. Or, like I showed you just now, you can start in second gear if you want, but it's not practical in daily traffic. You know, it's not practical all the time because you're revving the piss out of it, and and it's. It's taking a while to catch up to that gear because it's such a higher speed than zero miles an hour that your car moves really slow. So imagine trying to do stop and go in second gear. It'd be a pain in the butt. That's pretty much why you have a first gear in this in six speed. It's just to get the car moving. You know, moving fast enough to where you can engage second. And then second is kind of like your all-around gear. You know, you can you can drive around in parking lots with it. You can, you know. See, I'm gonna using just a clutch I'm gonna back up kind of want to show you guys how to park if I can it's gonna be hard with one hand though all right so first I gotta open my my garage all right it works pull my mirror in because I like to park really close All right, so here's how I I do it. I'm gonna try to describe the steps. All right, so I'm ready to go, right? So clutch, first gear, let off till grab point, and then I might my foot's still over the brake in case I need it. Okay, now that I'm going enough, I let my foot off the clutch using gas. And I start making my turn. Okay. Now clutch, brake, and then I'm letting off the clutch. And I'm basically controlling the speed of the car with the clutch. So if I want to slow down, I press it in and I use my brake. And then I can also let out and keep it going forward because I'm going slow enough that, you know, that'll work. And then normally I pull in once and then I put it in reverse and I try to straighten myself out. Because again, I like to park pretty close. I just let out the clutch, so you clutch and brake, or I could keep letting it out, and I'll keep pulling, and I usually, I back up to about there, now, here, and then I try to get a little closer, I'm just using the clutch power, see, clutch brake, let off the clutch, there's a little bump, oh, oh, okay, we made it, the main, main point is to have enough momentum to get over that bump. Okay, clutch and brake. So again, my point is that just using the clutch power can really help you with parking. And we're good. Bam. We are parked. 
that's pretty much oh, I can get this damn seatbelt off there you go it's pretty much how I park so uh, I know that, that might be a little scattered with everything that I showed but uh, you know you have to remember that you're driving a vehicle that runs off momentum when you shift gears when you press in that clutch there's no power going to the wheels from the motor it's the car is moving strictly on the momentum of where it's at right now if you're going 30 miles an hour and you or 35 heading towards 40 and you clutch it in put it into fourth gear from third in that moment the car is just rolling on its own power and so you just basically you're picking the next gear you're letting out the clutch and then you're resuming the gas that's pretty much all you're doing except you know you do it you know you're driving clutch you know you're doing it a lot faster you know i'm showing you like an exaggerated way so you can learn it so you have to you have to learn that momentum and then again like i was saying parking to me it makes it a whole lot easier because i've seen these people you know they're trying to do it by by adding gas and revving and they're revving the crap out of it and they're stalling because they're not adding enough because they're trying to back up or go forward but only by a tiny bit so they don't hit a car so it's like why do that when you can just put it in gear let out the clutch let it roll and then you can manipulate your brake at the same time and always keep in mind that when you use your brake you need to be mindful of the clutch unless you're in neutral if you press that brake all the way and the car gets slow enough depending on what your gear in what your gear is in if you press that brake and you're not pressing in the clutch the car will stall because each gear has a preset speed if you're going 40 miles an hour and you press the brake to zero the car isn't going at the speed and instead of braking it it's going to stall the car to save the car so you need to remember that um yeah i'm gonna have to take a look at this footage and see what's usable but uh that's pretty much, I guess, what I'll record for today. As always, if you have any comments, questions, hates, likes, whatever, let me know. I'll help you out.